Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about some string activities. So, we'll create a test string variable first. So, click on Variables panel, click on Add Variable. Let's rename this uh, variable from var1 to var test string. Uh, the type would be of string type. The value I'll give as hi, this is a test message. Okay, so first we'll see how the split string activity works. Split string activity splits the string based on the separator that we give. So, for example, this is a value for our uh, variable. Then, if we give uh, exclamation mark as the separator, then it would split the entire value into two elements. High would be the first element, and the second element uh, would be this is the test message. Both these elements would be stored in the list. So, we in the input field, uh, as per the input string, we will give in the uh, variable that we created, var test string, and separator, we will give the exclamation mark in brackets. Next, as output, we need to uh, create another variable uh, which should be of uh, array list type. So, var split string. All right, now next we'll drag and drop a message box. And uh, we will try to call the first element of the list. So, if it's going to be split, this would be the first element and this would be the second element. To call them, we need to use the index. So this would be the zeroth index and this would be the first index. Let's call the uh, zeroth index first. So the list that we created is var split string and we call the first index. As you can see, it has returned high. This is the zeroth index, which is the first element high. Now we'll call the uh, uh, second element, which is of the first index. Here it has return, returned the second element. This is the test message. Okay. Now we will see the next activity. Okay. We will uh, move to string replace activity. So I'll just go ahead and delete these two activities. <coughs> string replace activity is used to uh, replace a particular character in a, a value of a string. So, for instance, if I want to replace this exclamation mark uh, to a star, then we would have to first uh, provide the source string, which is the variable that we created, var test string. And uh, here we would also give uh, the output. Uh, so we'll have to create an output. var replace string. And in, in the build option, look on the three dots over here. So the input string is var test string and the replace string will be assigned to a variable called var replace string. Click on add pattern and we need to find the exclamation mark and we want it to replace it to a star. Alright, so we can go ahead and close this. And the starting index is the index from which the search starts. So it should start from the beginning, zero. So, 0th index uh, uh, will be where the search will start from. So, let's just uh, drag in a message box. And we will try to return the re uh, replace string variable. We can save or run the sequence. Here you can see the uh, exclamation mark has been replaced uh, to a star. So that's also, uh, this is how we can use the string replace activity. Now next, we will see how the substring activity works. 
to go ahead and delete both these activities. Substring activity is to get a particular substring. Now from here, if the complete value is high, exclamation mark, this is a test message. But if I only uh, want uh, this part of the string, this is a test message. Then we can first, uh, first we need to provide the input source string. So that will be var test string. And the starting index uh, of the text that we want to start from. So here the starting index would be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should start from the fourth index. And the length of the uh, index that we want to uh, uh, I want as substring. So that would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Twenty-two. The length would be twenty-two, and uh, the output would be. Uh, we need to create a variable for the output, so we will give it as var substring, and we'll drag and drop a message box, and we'll see what var substring would look like. you can see it returned uh, this is a test message so this is a substring of the entire uh, uh, string value all right now we will see how uh, the uppercase and lowercase activities work so let's see this and just remove this first we'll go to lowercase sorry Provide the input uh, source string, var test string, and the result uh, we can assign the variable to uh, var lowercase. Back end of the message box. Run the sequence. As you can see, the entire value is being uh, turned into a lowercase. All the uppercase has been converted to lowercase. Uh, hi, this is a test message. And, and lowercase. Now, uh, similarly, we'll see how the uppercase uh, case activity works. Provide the input value for our test string and uh, we'll create a variable for the output var upper case drag and drop the message box and var upper case click on save run on run the sequence Here you can see the entire value of the string has been converted to uppercase. So let's go ahead and click on OK. Now we will see one more activity that is a trim activity. So we will go ahead and delete both this. Drag and drop the trim activity. Suppose in our variable we have a uh, space towards the left of the value like we have uh, before the high it starts uh, with a lot of space now if we want to trim this variable we can use a trim activity so as for the input uh, source string we can provide the var test string which has uh, starts with a space uh, towards the left of the text now it has so and so space uh, uh, and then the text starts now once we drag and drop the trim activity and provide the input uh, string var test string now here it's saying trim cap cars okay that is fine now we'll go and go ahead and check uh, this box trim left because uh, the space comes in uh, uh, from the left of this uh, uh, variable 
and we will provide this uh, output and assign it to var trim now we'll drag and drop a message box we'll type in var trim we we'll call save run the sequence Here you can see it has removed all the space uh, before the uh, uh, string value. Uh, initially, we had here provided a lot of space. It will remove all the space and it will trim all the uh, spaces. It will start from high. This is uh, distance. So, yeah, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.